Welcome back to the Additive Guru channel. This is Matthew. Today I'm going to show you how to take a part that you've made or that you will make and make part of it a lattice while keeping certain features solid. So today we're going to make a bracket with three holes and the squares around the holes we are going to keep uh, solid while the bracket part is going to be lattice. So let's get started with a few squares here. Just going to make that one a little bit different than the others. I'll make two more over here. And one more. All right, next we're going to take a spline and we're just going to draw between these squares here. The actual shape doesn't matter too much and we can go back and edit that later because it's a spline. So just whatever looks good. And one more. All right, and at this point, you can go back and change your splines or your squares or anything. Uh, the spline looks a little bit narrow here, so I'm just going to make that a little bit thicker. All right, why don't you stop the video and do this now. All right, next we're going to add some circles. Nothing fancy. And that's all for the sketch. So now what we need to do is we actually need to extrude this, but what we're going to do is only extrude the middle part. So we're not extruding the squares. Let's just go five millimeters. All right, now we need to go back to sketches and display this sketch. And we're actually going to come back now and extrude these squares separately. Now this is an important part. We need to make sure when we extrude these that it is a new body. This is going to be very crucial for, for later on, so make sure you don't skip this step. So now, if you look under bodies, you should have four bodies. The main part, and then each of these little squares with a circle in the middle. Right, so next, we're going to hide everything but the body and we're gonna go up here to show data panel I'm oh, sorry first we need to save it just name it whatever alright now that it's there we'll go click on the title of wherever it's stored so here it's in my first project you'll click that and now it takes you to this website, the Fusion website, and it'll have a list of things you've designed. So you'll just find that, click on this little download icon, and it gives you choices here. You're going to select Inventor 2019, so this will give us an IPT part to work with. And this just says that they'll send you an email with it after it's done exporting. So you, you'll go go ahead and check your email after you get this far. And then we'll come back here and now we're going to do the same thing but we're going to hide the main body and only show these three. Now you want to do the same thing. Save it. Go up here. Click on the link. And you'll find it here. This will be bracket test version 2 and you'll download that one also alright so I went ahead and downloaded those ahead of time alright after you've got your two IPT parts exported and downloaded and that's all taken care of we're gonna come into the Intop platform you're gonna come up here to file import and then they'll be in your downloads as whatever you name them as 
I'll just import those real quick. Alright, and for now, we can hide those ones because we're not going to need those until later. So here's the main bracket piece. Uh, what we're going to do is double click on it and note that it selects it all. If you just single click, it just selects one face. So you want to make sure to double click so it selects the whole part. Right click and create CAD body variable. Alright, so that puts this little CAD body variable piece over here. And we're going to use that to make a mesh from CAD body. And you can just drag and drop this right there. And we'll go ahead and get rid of that for now because we won't need it. Alright, so now this is made into a mesh. We'll hide that. So this is what our mesh looks like right now. Now we're going to want to remesh that. Remesh as a remesh remesh surface. You can just go ahead and drag this mesh right up here. And we're going to set the edge length to something like 5 and the shape can be whatever you want. We'll just go with triangle. And we'll want to make sure to hide that old mesh. All right. So here's what our new mesh looks like. Alright, and now we're going to need to turn that into a volume mesh. So just type in volume mesh, super easy. Drag the remesh surface under domain, and we go ahead and hide the old one. Edge length, again, we can just set that at 5. You can change it later if you want to. That just changes the size of the cells. For example, if we set 2, it's going to make 2 millimeter cells once it updates. And as you can see, that's a lot smaller. So we can, we'll just stick with uh, five millimeter cells here. All right, and after we have a volume mesh, we can actually go ahead and make a lattice from volume mesh. And once again, you just drag and drop. We can hide that. And there you go. Now we've got a lattice. And as you can see, it looks exactly like our mesh looked. It uses the same quadrants and whatnot. So once we have this, we're going to need to go ahead and thicken it. Just give it some volume. So we'll go to thicken lattice. Drag and drop. Uh, let's try one millimeter thickness. All right, that looks pretty good. You can up the thickness if you want. You can make it lower. However you think looks best. I kind of like that. All right, so that right there completes our lattice part. We can just go ahead and hide that for now. And we're going to need to come back and take care of these parts. So if you double click, if you hold control while you're double clicking, you can select multiple. That'll make it easier. So go ahead and hold control and double click on all of your little squares. Once you do that, you're going to right click and create CAD body list variable. All right. So this is sort of like what we did in the beginning, only this time it has a list of all three of them. So next we'll need to go make mesh from CAD body and we'll just copy and paste that duplicate and duplicate all right now we can just drag each of these into their own little mesh and go ahead and get that rid of that all right now the next thing we're going to do is create a boolean Union. You guys are probably familiar with this. Uh, so here it gives us two inputs, but as you can see, we have one, two, three, four different <coughs> different parts we need to union. So if you see this little uh, plus button right here, you can just click that twice, and it'll add two more slots. So now that we have four slots, we can just go ahead and start dragging all these in. And that is going to 
go ahead and create a union. All right, now as you can see, this is all one piece. Then we're gonna do a mesh from implicit body because as you can see right here, this Boolean union outputs an implicit body. This another thing to note, if you ever want to, if you're ever not sure of what something's outputting, uh, the name right here, it, it'll show what it is. So for example, this is a mesh, this one's a lattice, and this one's a thick lattice. Alright. <clears throat> so now that we have our Boolean union, we can just drag that into here. And the feature size, uh, let's try 0.75. This is another one of those things where you can uh, mess around with it to get how much detail you want. Uh, higher value gives less detail, so as you can see this is pretty detailed. Now if we were to do 2 millimeters, as you can see it doesn't turn out very well. 1 millimeter is still going to be pretty rough. So you just find the sweet spot it'll be different for each one of you but just mess around it mess around with it until you find a setting that you like I kinda like that one alright so now the last step is to export the mesh so we're gonna go up to our little search bar up here and do export mesh alright then of course we just drag and drop pretty much everything on here is drag and drop and then you'll click this little folder button to select where you want it saved to. I'm just going to do documents. And we could save it as OBJ, STL, PLY, or a 3MF file. Um, of course we're going to go with STL. And we can go ahead and name it whatever you're supposed to name it. And just hit save. Then if you change anything on here, it'll automatically save it to that as long as it's refreshed. Uh, that should that should be it. Uh, thanks for watching.